I work as a guard in these dungeons, but my true identity is the same as your own. I'm also a Mara Shosei hunter. Huh? Shh. I've already sent away the other guards, but if we make too much noise... I understand, but how can we be sure we can trust you? The King has issued a formal decree. In light of the irrefutable proof of your crime, you're to be executed before tomorrow's sunrise. If you want to escape, it has to be now. Uh, executed? We barely did anything! Monsters appearing at the same location as the treasure. Could this entire thing have been a trap? There will be time for speculation once we're out of here. As for my identity, I have no way to prove that to you just yet. Infiltrating the capital was difficult, and finding a chance to speak with you has taken a lot out of me. I could go on, but I think we can all agree that now is not the time for details. Have you seen our weapons anywhere, sir? Don't worry, I brought them with me. They're just behind the door. Still, these weapons alone won't be enough to defeat the true enemy behind the scenes. His faction is too powerful. The guards are all under his control, and he's even stationed a number of golems in various rooms throughout the palace. To defeat him, you must find a secret vault. It is said that within that vault, the Mara Shose hunters of the past left behind a treasure with the power to defeat the sorcerer. You're not coming with us? No, I'll remain in the dungeons to deal with the guards. I'll try my best to distract them so they don't go out. As long as my identity is not revealed, I'll be able to aid you when the final battle comes. In that case, please stay safe. Thank you for your concern. I will do my utmost. As for the location of the vault, here, this map should lead you there. Got it. All right. Once I open the door, remember to stick close and refrain from making any noise. I'll lead you out of here as quickly as possible. You now have the chance to restore the honor and legacy of the Mara Shosei Hunters. So please, get out there and reclaim what's ours. And be sure to exercise caution. With the help of the guard, you successfully escaped the dungeons. Your sense of despair and anxiety both seem to fade as you continue your quest. Wait, we didn't get to use our skills at all while we were in prison. Who knows when we're gonna get the chance to use that cool burn spell? That is a pity, but we can only continue to move forward. This should be the place marked on the map. This bit of rock certainly looks suspicious. Well, I'd say an investigation's in order then. Plus, if all else fails, we can just blow it up. Wow, you really meant that! Before you lies a serene stretch of open water, its surface shimmering a brilliant shade of sapphire blue. Well, guess this means it's time for a swim!
What's the matter? Uh, it's nothing. <clears throat> As you step into the cave, you find yourself in an eerily quiet space. Before you lies a narrow passageway that appears to trail off endlessly into the distance. Blocking our way in. Hmm. Huh. It almost looks like it's been here for quite some time. I've got to hand it to the tabletop troop. They really went all out with the props. Hmm. Huh. What have we got down here? kind of mechanism connected to the door? Ah, it looks like we might have to arrange it into a certain pattern. A pattern on a stone door? That's something Master mentioned before. Uh, is something wrong, Clarant? After a long, difficult journey, you finally arrive at the location indicated by your map. It appears to be an ancient site of some sort, where treasure likely awaits. Your surroundings are exceedingly quiet and serene, as if the secret that slumbers here has never once been disturbed. If you listen closely, you can almost convince yourself you can hear the sound of its calm, gentle breathing. Ah, uh, that description makes Paimon feel kinda bad for disturbing this place. We're doing this for the sake of the people, to free them from the evil sorcerer. I say it's time for this treasure to once again see the light of day. Linny's right. We need to keep going. The future of the kingdom depends on it. The next part of the story requires us to solve the puzzle, right? Let's start exploring the area. Yes, that should be fine. Hmm. Something feels off about all this. I guess I'll just have to improvise. just appeared. Some kind of new mechanism, maybe? By solving the puzzles, you prove yourselves worthy of inheriting the secrets of the past. At the end of each puzzle, you're rewarded with... With? A key. Oh, it must be the key to the big door. Huh? This is one of the Marashose Hunter keys 
that are passed down from generation to generation. It looks just like the one Master passed down to me. It is said that four keys in total are required to form the final, complete key. And it seems like we just collected three of them. That must mean... <gasps> huh? What's wrong? You hear a few strange noises. Suddenly, all the torches in the ruin go out at once. Huh? W what's going on? Did we fall into another trap? For the sake of immersion, please close your eyes, everyone. <clears throat> Without the torches, the space is now completely dark, and you cannot see anything. But Paimon can still see a little bit over here! Oh, right, sorry. Suddenly, you hear the sound of footsteps pierce through the darkness. <gasps> There's someone else here! <sighs> oh, this is so unsettling! I can't see anything! <laughs> I've been discovered then. Wait, that voice, it's... You recognize the voice as belonging to the guard who led you to this place. It appears he now covets the treasure for himself and has come to stake his claim. Oh, so this is just part of the script. <sighs> then I can probably relax. Well, if we can't see anything, that means we can't fight to the fullest of our abilities. Should we retreat for now? Judging by the way he's holding his sword, he must be a real Mara Chose hunter. But this isn't part of the script. Retreat? <laughs> That's not the hunter way. If it's dark for us, then it's dark for him. We choose to fight. Your choice is noted. Please keep your eyes closed until I tell you the torches have been relit. This battle will be in the dark. You got it. Well then, let us begin. <laughs> Into the shadows. I'd like to try to hit him with my sword. Your strike is successful. Your... Is he still standing? Couldn't... Is it over? Can we open our eyes now? The enemy is strong and relentless. But the battle is nearing its end. The torches have not been relit. What about now? Final strike! Ha! Well, did we get him? Uh, Glorian? Warm fire. Flickers across the walls once more. Your vision is now clear. In an impressive display of courage, the four of you successfully defeat the uninvited guest. That look in his eyes. It's like he became an entirely different person as soon as I defeated him. Huh? Mr. Florian? Oh, wait. We're supposed to be role-playing. I should stay in character. Ah, uh, ahem. Speak your name, guard. Why did you lead us here just to betray us? Is this treasure really more important to you than bringing peace to the kingdom? <laughs> what kingdom? What peace? Those were nothing but lies. I, Florian, am a true Mara Chose hunter, descended from hunters of ages past. So he's also using his real name. Or, wait... Was that the name of his character from the very beginning? Then I'm even more confused. If you truly are a Mara Chose hunter, shouldn't you want to help us just like you said before? Shouldn't we fight together for the sake of the people? What do you know? In this day and age, there's no glory to be had as a Mara Chose hunter. What's that supposed to mean? 
My skills were passed down to me by my father. We lived a life of obscurity in the remote wilderness. Still, he devoted everything he had to being a Marashose hunter. And what did he get in return? A life of poverty and pain, and a world that forgot all about him. When he died, not a single person came to mourn his passing. The Marashose hunters were the ones who saved this city, were heroes. We deserved more recognition and respect than this. Is he talking about how no one in the capital seems to remember the hunters and their legacy? I didn't expect the script to contain this level of social criticism. So that's why you want to take the treasure for yourself? You feel like you're owed fame and wealth? If you already knew where the treasure was located, why didn't you just come down here and take it? Because I still needed the final key. <clears throat> Only a true Marashose hunter is capable of passing through this final door. As someone who sought to hurt others for his own gain, Florian lost that right long ago. Okay, but what is this treasure anyway? We've got all the keys, right? So can we just go in and take a look? You're sure you want to go in? We've been talking about it for so long, of course we want to see what's inside! And we've already defeated Florian, right? So he won't try to take it from us anymore. <sighs> Pesky brats. Watch yourself. Then let's open the door together. All right. <clears throat> Your choice of action is confirmed. Before you, the door to the treasure, sealed and undisturbed for more than a hundred years, finally swings open. You hear the shrill wail of the door hinge as it rotates for the first time after years of disuse, almost like a sleeping giant letting out an extended yawn. You get the impression that the secrets buried behind this door might be just as heavy as the sound you just heard. Uncovering hidden treasure is the most exciting part of adventuring. What do we have here? Uh-huh. A stone tablet? And some shabby weapons? <sighs> you, you call this a treasure vault? Looks more like an abandoned warehouse! Maybe the troop ran out of budget at the end? They provided a super immersive experience at the beginning only to drop the ball at the most important part? They could have at least filled this place with cardboard mora or something! Wait, I get it now. Paimon, this is the real Mara Shose Hunter treasure! Huh? <laughs> this is it? The Mara Shose Hunter treasure is just a stone slab and some broken swords? I can't believe it. I refuse to believe it! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, are you okay? <clears throat> the Mara Shose hunter before you appears to suffer a serious mental breakdown. He needs to leave the room for a moment to collect himself. One of you seems to understand the significance of the treasure already. If the rest of you wish to follow suit, you may remain here in the meantime and explore your surroundings. The old and broken weapons... The old and broken wep... Ugh, the names on the tablet! Ugh, the... What is the treasure 
you supposed to be? Walter. So, how are you doing? Feeling... I... What just happened? Do you remember how you got here? Or what happened to your body just now? Uh, I remember now. I brought you here because I wanted to... Huh? The explosives in the cave! You mean these? Huh? How did you... I could tell something was off the moment I stepped into this cave. So I kept an eye out. I've already dismantled the whole thing. <laughs> so the strongest champion duelist in all of Fontaine saved the day once again. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. It would seem your skills as a Mara Chose hunter are as sharp as ever. I deserve some answers, don't you think? Tell me why you wanted to lure me here. Everything you said earlier sounded like the truth. Luckily, your monologue was dramatic enough to convince my friends you were just role-playing. I... I don't know. I just always felt like there was something in my heart that didn't belong to me. Something agitated and angry. T who knows, maybe it was my own anger all along. I could never really tell. The feelings about my father and the other Marshose hunters are real. It just wasn't fair. I was angry, bitter that no one remembered them or praised their accomplishments. I don't know when it started, but at some point, my anger came to completely consume me. At that point, I remembered the legend my father used to tell me, the one about the treasure. But if the treasure was all you cared about, why plant all those explosives? Wouldn't they just destroy the treasure and bury you along with it? Uh, I can't remember. My head is a mess. It felt like there was this voice telling me to eliminate the hunters, but now it's gone. From your description, I suspect you were dealing with a devorator. A uh, devorator? Oh, your master... Uh, <clears throat> your father, I mean. Never talked about it? It was a kind of monster that was active several centuries ago. No, I've heard of it. I'm just not sure why you suddenly... Wait, it can't be. The seal! The seal? My family has served as Mara Chose hunters for many generations. But the title and swordsmanship weren't the only things passed down over our line. There was a seal as well. My father instructed me to always watch over that seal and maintain it regularly. He said it had been passed down over a truly ancient age, and protecting it was our clan's most important duty. But I neglected that duty after he died. I finally decided to come down and check on it one day, and that's where my memories become fuzzy. The Devorator would be a formidable adversary for any mortal being even ones as capable as the Hunters. If you lacked the power to completely destroy it, you could easily fall prey to its influence and corruption. In light of this, some Marachose Hunters chose to seal the Devorator away, in the hopes that a permanent solution would come with the passage of time. I heard it has the power to amplify the obsessions and desires in people's hearts, to the point where they overtake you entirely. It would seem I'm not just lacking in skill with a blade, but in mental fortitude as well. And yet, you were able to retrieve three of the four keys. If I remember correctly, each was entrusted to a respected and capable hunter. How did you manage it? One of them belonged to my father, the second I stole from a different hunter, and the third... <sighs> was one that I snatched while the person was on the way home from the tavern. I nearly died in that alley. <sighs> I know just how strong you are. It's as clear as day to everyone in Fontaine. I observed you from dusk to dawn, but could never find any opportunity to sneak up on you. I never even saw you drink a single glass of liquor. The only way I could think to obtain that last key was to lure you here using your hobby and then... 
Oh, I get it now. That monster, it wanted to bury you here alongside the treasure. Mm, I won't comment on anything else, but the script was good. <laughs> well, I did pour my heart and soul into it. The stories my father used to tell me about the glory of the heroic Mara Shosei hunters and how they came to be forgotten. It's more than just a story. Huh? You're proud to be a hunter. You're still holding onto that part of yourself, no matter how small. I have done so many despicable things. I have nothing to be proud of. Then explain the purpose of the evil sorcerer in your story. Huh? Isn't he the true antagonist? The one who sought nothing but his own gain, and used the people as pawns to attain it? In your heart of hearts, he was the one you truly wanted to defeat. But... but I've already tainted my sword. I no longer have any right to... Wake up, Florian. Remember how you introduced yourself earlier. Do you really think the Hunters acted out of a desire for honor and glory? Or to be loved and acknowledged by the people? What did your father teach you about our order? Hmm... You do not wield your sword for yourself, but to protect those you serve. There's nothing special about a blade. It's the intentions of the wielder that matter above all else. Do you still not understand? Even after seeing the treasure for yourself? The contents of that room, they represent the true legacy the hunters left behind. You're right. I... I am a Mara Shosei hunter. It's time for me to redeem, no, to finally serve the people I vowed to protect all along. I wouldn't be so quick to push aside the need for redemption. I know. That's a charge I won't bother to defend myself against. Good. Then, come with me. And help me see the script through to the end. Huh? See the script through to the end? But... but there's no more script left. Hmm. Never finished it, huh? No, I mean, I wrote the script with the sole purpose of luring you all here. There was no reason to write beyond this point. Then we'll just have to keep writing it. The evil sorcerer still needs to be defeated. You mean, the Devorator? Uh, are you saying I have to make up the rest of the script as we go along? Is that really so hard? You've already written most of it. Surely you can write an ending where the hunters win and justice prevails. I'll be there to help you too. You aren't afraid your party will fall into danger? I know what my friends are capable of, and they're all quite skilled. Besides, I need their help. Then, are you going to tell them the truth about all this? Ah, uh, I don't intend to spoil the fun. Sometimes, protecting dreams and fantasies is more important than exposing the truth. Move it! Uh, they're back! That took a while. Ahem. Oh, uh, ahem! My fellow Mara Shosei hunters, please forgive me, for I have sinned. Tone it down. Sorry. <clears throat> After crossing swords with you and witnessing your courage in battle, I've rediscovered my true self and regained my pride as a Mara Shosei hunter. Oh, do I smell a redemption arc? I confess, I was brainwashed by the evil sorcerer. He asked me to lure you here so he could bury you in this cave. That little... Wait, you're saying all of that wasn't you but the evil sorcerer? That's right. He's adept at manipulating the hearts and minds of the people. I fell under his influence because I did not possess a strong enough sense of will. Huh. And how are you going to prove that you're a changed man? Um... To be perfectly honest, I only came to my senses after seeing the treasure. It reminded me of my father's past teachings. The treasure was actually... The names of all the Mar Shosei hunters from ages past and their weapons? Wait, you already know? Of course. 
don't underestimate a veteran role player's exploration skills. Oh, wait, I mean, Mara Shose Hunter Navia's exploration skills. <laughs> we just finished reading through the content of the stone tablet. That tablet recorded the lives of some fascinating people. She inherited the responsibilities of the Golden Hunter and passed judgment on many people. But in private, she had a very easygoing personality. Her favorite pastime was singing and dancing with her friends, and she was said to have a beautiful voice. So, she was just like you. Oh, you really think so? Well, when you put it that way, I suppose I also have a few things in common with this Walter. Working as an executioner, he supposedly used a countless number of tricks to confound his enemies in battle. Oh, if only I could have seen the feats of magic he pulled off back then. Their lives were all so exciting. You could write so many cool books about their accomplishments. How could they have all been forgotten? Because they chose to be. To hunt monsters that only appear in the shadows, you must also operate in the dark. To be a Marashose hunter is to willingly give up on wealth and fame. Then this stone tablet must have been left behind by their companions. That's right. Few Marashose hunters ever revealed their identity to the public. They always protected the city from the shadows. The only time they spoke of their accomplishments would be at night, when they gathered with their fellow hunters in front of the bonfire to share stories of the monsters slain by their hand. So... This tablet was created not so that the hunters would be remembered by the people. No wonder this place was so well hidden. You regard the stone tablet in solemn silence. The names of your comrades etched onto its surface serve as a reminder that you are never truly alone. The tablet proves that, although a hunter walks a shrouded path, it is not a solitary one. There will always be those who walk beside you, a fact that remains as true today as in ages long past. Their legacies shall continue to be passed down from generation to generation, as everlasting as the stone onto which their names are carved. Father, you once told me that I should seek out the treasure if I ever became lost. So this is what you wanted me to find. Thank you, my friend. You... I implore you, everyone. Please give me a chance to make up for all I've done. Allow me to fight alongside you and defeat the evil sorcerer that threatens the peace and prosperity of everyone in this kingdom. Well, I say it sounds good to me too. Everyone makes mistakes. What matters is what you do to make up for them. I have no objections, but... Mr. Florian... Hmm... When he took over my mind, I gained some insight into his thoughts. Every time I thought of the treasure, he reacted with a strong sense of fear. Huh? He's... afraid of the treasure? But there's nothing here except some broken weapons and the- What if... the secrets hidden inside a GM permit- At first glance, the weapons appear absolutely ordinary. But as you observe them, you notice a faint energy emanating from within. These blades have slain countless monsters. Though it's been a long time since they were used in battle, their edges remain sharp, as if they're simply waiting for the next worthy hunter to carry on their legacy. So basically take these with us, right? I'll take this weapon since it used to belong to Est. Maybe it'll find comfort in being held by someone who appreciates the arts. Ah, oh, good idea. I'll take Mr. Walter's bow then, from one archer magician to another. Hmm. Paimon's gonna pick a cool weapon too! As you grip your weapons, you can almost feel the will of past hunters coursing through your being. It's a feeling of courage, determination. A silent vow passed down from generation to generation. 
Mr. Florian, do you know where to find the evil sorcerer? I was able to see his surroundings when our minds were connected. I believe he's currently high. We must be extremely careful. He's spent so long living among monsters that he's now taken the form of one. He will not be easily- Then why don't we explore some more and try to find some higher level gear? We don't- Oh, um, no, we have- to I agree with Mr. Florian. We've got to act while we have the advantage. Don't forget, the people of the capital are counting on- Yeah, now that we've got a plan, there's no point in waiting. The longer- Yes, yes, that's what's called- Yes. All right, you've persuaded- Mr. Florian, please. Of course. He had to set up so many scenes today, and now he has to join in for this last part. I really don't envy- <laughs> Finally. You decide to s As you walk away, you feel the gaze of the stone tablet at your back, as if all the hunters of the past are wishing you success in the battle ahead, and-